So, everyone, say hello to YouTube. We're, this is probably where I'm going to start it, because where else would I start it? But the start of the, the start of the map. So, step one, jump in the water. Okay, yeah. We currently have version 1.1 of this map done, and for those of you who are watching this on YouTube, I forgot that happens. I forgot my own map already. Um, anyone who's watching this on YouTube uh, will have access to version 1.1 of the map, which is probably going to be released not too long after uh, I, I've, I finished streaming this. Um, but I'm currently playing on version 1.0, just to be safe. Version 1.1 is mainly just bug fixes. So many, but yeah, say hello, say hello to, to, to YouTube chat. Um, I'm probably going to edit things a bit to, to streamline stuff, but here we are. Kitacho three, uh, it's going to be a very casual walkthrough. Uh, but for anyone on YouTube who is watching, uh, I'll probably put timestamps in the description for the different areas of the map. So anywhere that you are at, that you are stuck look in the description and you'll be able to click to where you are stuck at. Okay, I think that's about it. Um, chapter one uh, is mid. Chapter two is also mid. Chapter three is slightly less mid. Let's go. Oh man. Okay, and then this is my favorite thing to do. Um, when you read the rules, you just spam this. Yeah. No, PJ, stop. You can't stop screaming that Katacha was canceled. <laughs> Captain Sparkles did start playing Chapter 2. Uh, I, I watched the um, his stream today. Uh, he'll probably be finishing the map probably soon. I think it took him, like, only a couple days to finish Chapter 1. Um, but yeah, uh, anyone watching who wants to watch a cool playthrough of, of the old maps, uh, Captain Sparkles. By the time this uh, video goes up, uh, I'm, I'm guessing the Chapter 2 playthrough will probably be on YouTube. Um, but yeah, here we go. <laughs> I'm just, I just like the thought that there's going to be a timestamp. I should, I should be quiet, right? Does anyone need help with this part of the map? <laughs> I don't know. Hold on, let's just... Oh, hello. Maybe I should turn it up. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a mess today. It is an error. That is so loud. Hold on. I... Sure. We regret to inform you that due to the current state of our facility, we are no longer able to repair it to our expected standards. Whoa. This message is pre-recorded, and I am now the last of the repair gods, and am soon to shut down due to the lack of parts needed to repair myself. I apologize for the inconveniences, but this facility is no longer in a state that is safe to test in. Emergency protocol states that when this happens, you are to be released and that you can make a last effort attempt at escaping to the surface. The Katacho Laboratory wishes you the best of luck on your new adventure. And remember, even though we are now long gone, science will last forever. Good luck! a lever which is found right in here wow where do we put the lever oh look over there blue block that's where we put the lever is everyone getting mad at me because i called chapter two mid okay it, it's a running joke that i call all of my maps mid uh j just for anyone who doesn't know especially especially the is stream dying wait is stream dying I'm not dropping any frames. Is is it dying for anyone else? That that that'd be awkward. Uh we're just gonna keep going and hope for the best. Please let me know if the stream is dying. It it looks okay on my end. Chapter three is more mid than chapter two changed my mind. That that is a interesting opinion. <laughs> Uh, to subject recruitment wing. We can't go there, but we got the achievement. A nice nap. This won't be a 100% uh, walkthrough. Uh, just because I feel like I should just focus on what's important. I feel like if I, if I do 100%, we'll be here for a while. I'm still waiting for someone in chat to just be like, stream is not dying. It's just Ember's bad internet. Uh... 
a wee bit it got better but it cut out a minute ago did it better now i think well, that's that's good i hope i hope i could use this for the walkthrough it if okay you know it's fine also yeah so i uh, yeah press the button go get the lever go in here i'm getting distracted by that <laughs> it cut out briefly for you hmm hopefully hopefully that won't affect me downloading the vod for uh youtube but here we go the test track 5 lobby very cool there's a lot of stuff that we can look at uh such as some fun facts about test track 5 it being the first fully biodegradable testing track uh some say it's haunted well they did until the ghost got them you know classic stuff Chapter 2 is the most consistently solid one other than a few issues. Chapter 3 has highs and lows. I, I can see that. I think that's just a result of Chapter 3 doing a lot of stuff. A lot more than the other maps. Um, so here we got, you know, the fungus fighters. This is very important for the walkthrough, so everyone pay attention. Uh, we got Mushroom Martha, a natural born leader and face of the group. Fungus Franklin, the master planner of the group. He sees all. Portobello Pablo, a soft-spoken yet courageous fighter and current fungus master. Milk Cat Matthew, goofy yet witty, he can kick butt while cracking jokes. Shiitake Sharon, the magical healer and spirit fighter of the group. Here they all here. All five of them are here and accounted for. Moving on. That was important. Um, and, then, and then we got some loser over there. Who cares about him? Uh, yeah, okay, so first puzzle, let's go. If you are looking at the walkthrough and need help with the first puzzle, it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, I got you. You put the slime ball there, you go across. Easy stuff. That spawns the slime ball over there. So that we pick up our slime ball, and then we go on over. And then we go across the bridge and we pick up the slime ball. Then we use both slime balls to open the exit. This is the basis of everything that comes after this. So if you're still struggling with this, uh, do it a couple times, I, I guess. <laughs> but there we go. Chamber 2 uh, is also somewhat straightforward. It is very basic, but in a good way. I think I can, I can safely say... To me personally, this is the best chamber two out of the tri trilogy. Okay, I guess I moved my mouse wheel without realizing it. Uh, grab the lever. Lever goes here, opens this door, but now we're locked out from the exit. Oh no, what do we do? Um, we respawn this. I mean, you can go back and pick up the slime ball, but if you want a shortcut, just respawn it. Um. And then, you know, you just flick the lever again, and then you get to go back to the exit. Good stuff. Okay. Onwards and upwards to Chamber 3. Uh, drawbridge is the name of this one, because, uh, bit of a drawbridge. That's about it. Okay. Uh, this one introduces the tactic of slime ball swapping. So if anyone's actually looking at the walkthrough, I feel like this is going to be the chamber that like the first people would start looking at. Like, Devi, welcome to the stream. Uh, it's hard to like keep track of chat knowing that uh, people are going to be watching this. Uh, so, um, yeah, uh, this chamber introduces the idea of slime ball swapping, uh, which is when you take like slime ball number two replace it with slime ball number one and then you can respawn slime ball two which will get rid of it and teleport it back over here good stuff only a few chambers require you to like do that um but it is still something good to keep in mind going forward and that brings us to the juice bar you can see all the stuff there and let's just take a walk through this cave what's everyone talking about in chat um he said the thing, guys. I don't... Onwards and upwards? Is that, is that what I said? Yeah. Um, I have beaten it, and it was fun. I'm glad you enjoyed the map, Debbie. I actually went back and watched the uh, the past VODs. Uh, sea Slime Ball. Wait a minute. Don't don't pay attention to that, everybody. That's crazy. Uh, chamber 4 is this way. Um, 
Portal Stories Mel did something similar to this, but Portal itself never did it. It sure did. Okay. Chamber 4. The first new mechanic of Chapter 3. Photonic walkways. Not light bridges. Don't call them that. Um, and these signs uh, are a great help telling you what to expect. Two slime balls, bridges, and one lever. Okay. So, we got slime ball number one. Which we need to put over here. To go through here. Climb up the ladder. To get to the second floor. Where we can, uh, and, and ignore this. This is a, th there is a hole here on my screen. For anyone on YouTube watching this, that hole will not happen. Don't worry. <laughs> uh, that, that has been fixed for version 1.1. .1. Okay. So, we gotta do what we learned in the last chamber. Swap the slime balls. And take slime ball one up above. And respawn slime ball number two. Now, if you want to be, like, safe, uh, I guess we could have taken slime ball one, put it there, and then come up. But I like to be fancy and flex a little bit. And, you know, just throw it because I can. Throw that there, which will activate the bridge on the other side. I mean, the walkway on the other side of the chamber <laughs> so we can grab the lever. Wow. And we want to just run back and uh, respawn slime ball two. Faster than picking it up. And speed is good. Where where do we... Okay. Never mind. Don't pay attention to me. I know what I'm doing. Slime ball one is here. Put that there. Put the lever up on the ceiling. Uh, and that combined with this slime ball will open the exit. Good stuff. Uh, yeah. Did you know photonic walkways? Uh, they are not called light bridges. Stop calling them that. Very important lore. Uh, moving on. Chamber 5. Target timers. I'm losing frames. I'm not speedrunning. <laughs> I'm not speedrunning, guys. I'm recording a walkthrough. We gotta, we gotta take this nice and steady for the people at home. Uh, so, this introduces our, our good friends, the throwables. Uh, everyone loves throwables. I can't think of a single person that doesn't like throwables. Um, you could use them to hit timers which will activate the bridge on a timer. Um, and you may notice, for anyone struggling with this one, when you get over here, there's no other uh, throwable over here to hit that target. So what you gotta do is jump on up here. Throw this. I keep try I keep wanting to say throw the slime ball. Throw the throwable, God, and then just respawn it. And now, you got a throwable over here. There we go. Cool. And with that, Chamber 5 complete. And there is nothing over there. Do not look over there. Chamber 6. Here we go. No hands. This is the chamber where when you walk into it, your hands just suddenly get uh, cut off from your body. And you have to solve the chamber without any hands that was a bad joke ignore me so yeah throwables they act like normal slime balls you can throw them on pressure plates that's a thing teaching you that grab the lever put it there so you can go back and retrieve it this allows you to use the throwable on that timer grab the slime ball and if you put the slime ball there the exit door opens but it also closes this door preventing you from escaping and this is probably the first chamber that stumps a lot of people because this seems impossible however if you go back and if you get a brand new shiny throwable and you bring it back across the bridge this allows you to do this neat little trick where you can put the slime ball on the bridge go on through Look at that. It's it it just works. It just works. Okay. Chamber 7. Trifecta. This one is a great chamber if you love throwables because it gives you three of them, which is why it's called Trifecta. Uh we got bridges, one slime ball, 
and this uh really makes you uh learn how to aim with the throwables prettiest chamber in the map it is a pretty chamber yeah and nominate uh who does the uh voice acting for jake Catacho, uh and other various uh things that you will see down the line um also does the decorating for this map what am i doing right no we do want to take the sign ball we want to swap it with you and then we want to respawn the sign ball up here because we do not need that bridge anymore there we go uh, and Amina did an amazing job with the decorating for this map. Okay, there we go. Throw that there, and chamber complete. And with that, we have a little break. Just a nice cave. Chamber 7, chamber 8. Just nothing over there, don't bother looking. It's, it's fine. Um, so yeah, chamber 8, we can't quite get into it because the door is... Uh, you know, door stuck. Uh, so we're just going to go into this little staff hallway over here. You know, it's, it's very convenient that this door is open. Because imagine test subject 3 going through this facility. This door is closed and then that's it. It's like, okay, well, you tried. <laughs> the end. You know. Uh, but that wouldn't make for a very good video game, wouldn't it? So. Prolongation. Chamber 8 out of 10. Three throwables, one slime ball, one bridge. The exact same stuff that was given to you in Trifecta, except this time, uh, it's a little bit more advanced. So this, uh, this chamber, there's different ways to go about it, uh, but let me show you the most optimal way after I take a little drink. Stay hydrated, everybody. Okay. Uh, first thing you want to do, Hit that and then you'll notice that it also controls this bridge and if you're too slow you can't get across but thankfully there's a spot right here to hit the timer again and that gives you enough time to run up to this top floor and you notice that it also controls this bridge but if you miss it there is a third spot to hit the timer right up here those are the most optimal places to throw your slime or your throwables uh, in the chamber. And now you get a slime ball. And you notice that the exit is in here through this door. However, the plate that opens it is connected to this door, and this door will close if you press that plate. And so it will click that this is the exact same setup that happened in chamber six. This is a combination of chambers six and seven. So, now that we drop down, we'll grab the three, and this is what you want to do. You want to be a little speedy, but if you use the throwables in the most optimal spots, the timer is actually pretty forgiving. So you do that, line yourself up here to drop the slime ball, run around, hit the timer again while it's still counting down, which prolongs it, hey, eh? that's the name of the chamber. And then throw your last throwable there. And then you just wait. The main puzzle of this chamber is just trying to figure out where the most optimal uh, spots to use the throwables are. And if you don't know where the most optimal spots are, you, you can make that chamber a little trickier on yourself than, than it needs to be. Um, so here's some lore about throwables. Uh, you know, blue color actually derived from ice blue mints that, that, that is true stuff uh 2.78 percent sentient good to know <laughs> good stuff um in loving memory of bananas the monkey uh relocated to test track nine that's a chapter two reference everybody um if you're a fan of chapter two you guys should go check out the walkthrough i made for that me oh wait no never mind uh so <laughs> press that button open the door to chamber nine can youtube see this chat youtube will see the chat so just keep that in mind guys <laughs> here we go chamber nine work around you guys you guys are on youtube say hi okay slime ball number one this is the introduction to the anti-science fields that were introduced in chapter two 
that will destroy your slime balls. You can't throw them and you can't walk through them with your slime balls. So we need two things here to turn off these fields. And that will allow you to uh, get the slime ball. So we need two slime balls. Thankfully, we got number two here. But number three is kind of trapped in this area. Uh, and we can't get number three out of there unless we take slime ball number two, put it on that plate. So at the end of the map, you get eaten by slime Cthulhu. Don't, don't, don't spoil the ending of the map on the people at home. Uh, for, for anyone who's watching this that who hasn't beaten the map don't worry that is not the actual ending <laughs> chat's uh doing they do a little trolling at night um so yeah we got both slime balls out of that place them down here that turns off the particle fields which allows us to get number one out of there now we have all three slime balls but do not run through there Instead, what you want to do is just kind of throw them up there so that you can go through the field and then pick them up on the other side. And then to get the uh, three slime balls into here, you be the slime ball for once. Crazy stuff. Also, uh, ignore the quantum test track. It, it just It's just there. You might see it a few times throughout the map. Don't worry about it. It just does that. Three slime balls, door is open. And that is a chamber nine workaround. Is there anything? No, that's nothing. Okay. Mix and match. Chamber 10. Two slime balls, one throwable, bridges, and anti-science fields. Let's do this. Okay, so this chamber is actually not that difficult. It's just a lot of foresight is needed and a lot of like advanced planning. Uh, so this is actually kind of kind of quick. All you got to do, put the slime ball there, spawns the bridge, allows you to jump across to get the second slime ball. And what you want to do, you know, you'll notice these arrows here that go through the tree that take you to this hole in the fence. Make sure your slime ball is there. We have a throwable that when you hit that timer, it retracts that wall and allows you to run across. The anti-science fields destroy throwables because they technically are a type of slime ball. So we can't bring the throwable over that way. So what we'll need to do is a little maneuver where you have to hit the timer and then quickly run through here to throw the throwable up there with that slime ball. And you should have enough time to then run across the bridge before the time runs out. I was a little slow, but I'm sure people can do that faster. And now that we're over here, uh, we can just respawn slime ball number one because we no longer need that bridge and we bring all three over here and the test track is complete so if you're watching at this point and you made it this far congratulations you completed the first 10 chambers and that's basically the end of the tutorial for this map this map is actually pretty long I think what we're going to do is I'm going to edit the series so that each act is its own episode. And for the people watching on Twitch right now, uh, we're probably going to do the first two acts tonight. And then I'll do act three tomorrow. And I'll try to show a lot of act three. Uh, so and act three is the longest act in the map uh, for those who don't know. So here we are, scene three of act one, the road to Katacho town. And this is where the map kind of starts picking up a bit. Uh, it has some lore about the Katacho labs just thanking you for being eco-friendly. Um, you know, you got that loser again, whoever he is. <laughs> no one important, am I right? Tester's reward program. Kind of out of order at the moment, so we're forced to uh, go off the beaten track. To a new area wow so we got some parkour if you are not good at parkour don't worry there there is water here you can swim up that water to get up <laughs> the parkour is not needed uh yeah okay so we want to go this way 
and this will take us to the staff and hall entrance of test track six which is actually quarantined due to a slime outbreak which is a reference to something in chapter two crazy i know so here we have the railways we have the uh the schedule for the railway but in this little room we have the pre-recorded message system is everybody ready here we go I'm Jake Kadacho, founder and CEO of this fine establishment, and if you're hearing this, it means you were accepted out of a plethora of applicants to become a contributor to the wonderful scientific experiments we run here at this facility. Now, my assistant Susie has finally helped me get a hang of our new pre-recorded messaging system, so I can help guide each batch of you newbies without having to repeat myself. Not only does that save the finite amount of oxygen my lungs can actually intake over the course of my life, it also means we end up saving time to do even more science. However, before we can begin said science, you'll first have to register in our brand new state-of-the-art, <laughs> get this, Gadacho Town. Whoa. Uh, name not final, of course you type. <clears throat> An employee will escort you to one of our railways that'll take you straight to the town, and from there your adventure at our facility will truly begin. Thank you for helping us forward the cause of science. And always remember our company motto. Onwards and upwards. Wow, he stole that from me. Okay, so yeah, that's the uh, reintroduction of Jake Cattaccio. Uh You go basically almost the full first act of the map without hearing him. Just to kind of nail down the, uh, the kind of loneliness isolated feeling i want the player to have in this map uh so yeah kitacho town that's where we need to go next and we need two levers in order to enter uh thankfully they're not too hard to find the first one you just go into the janitor's closet and there's a little note here uh left by the janitor to do fix vending machine again uh mop the break room uh find thomas's key if he dropped it by deliveries again, I'm going to lose it. It's so hard to fish things from the rails. That is your hint to look by deliveries. Deliveries is kind of off to the side. It's on this side of the railways. So you look for the door that says deliveries. It mentions fishing it out of the rails. So if you just look around the rails by deliveries. Oh, oh there's a hole here. There's the first lever. The second one is actually in that break room. Uh, that the janitor had to mop, which is over here on the other side of the railway. And this one is thankfully just in a chest out in the open. Uh, and Pete, make sure you don't leave your key in here again. I, I don't think Pete is a very good listener, but it is what it is. It's good for us because now we have both of our keys and we can move on to the one and only Kitacho Town. Is everyone excited? best part of the map <laughs> okay here we go Hitachi town oh my god here we go why was there a ding <laughs> all right here we are Hitachi town again may not fun this is where you'll be staying for the majority of your time underground when not participating in the laboratory. Enjoy our hospitality as you live comfortably in one of our high-tech apartment complexes. Go for a relaxing stroll in our Central Park, and even enjoy a fine dining experience at our newest Kitakos restaurant that we just finished renovating specifically for this Kitakos! We hope to eventually establish more Kitacho towns throughout the facility as we expand, but for the time being, please feel privileged to experience the very first of its kind. Now remember, before you can unpack, you first need to register yourself at our town hall, which is located on the far side of the town from where you enter. After that, you'll officially be considered one of us. <laughs> one of us, that makes it sound like a... I don't know, like a cult. Can you imagine us being a cult? Anyway, 
it. Uh, for those of you who are going to be monitoring our newly built test track aid, please head to the top right side of the cavern once registration is complete. Your project coordinator will provide further instructions after that. Until then, I've been Jake Gadacho, founder and CEO of the Gadacho Laboratory. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Hell yeah. <laughs> oh, uh, right. Uh, to clarify, no, we're not a cult. Let's get to know Jake. All right. So, we need to get into Test Track 8, uh, but in order to do that, we have to verify our fingerprint, which is that button there. We cannot get to that button because we need a lever. So, you'll notice a chest right here. Uh, goodbye and good riddance by employee number 0937. So, one of the first uh, 900 employees that worked here, somewhat early in the company's history. Uh, considering Katacho by the end of it has had thousands of employees. So, uh, that's it. I'm tired of Jim stealing my lunch from the cafeteria's fridge. I put in my two-week notice, and I'm getting out of here. Also, to make life worse for all of you who wronged me in the past, I've gone ahead and hit the key to registration to the registration office somewhere in this town. Where exactly? I'm going to make you actually work for a change in order to find it. That's right. I'm going to make you go on a scavenger hunt. Your first hint will be found at your favorite place to eat. I could never stomach the food there, but it doesn't surprise me that all of you can. Good luck finding it. I hope you never do. Okay. So it's a scavenger hunt. We gotta find all of these guys' uh, hints. The first one being at a place where you eat, which is none other than the lovely Kotako's restaurant, which is my favorite pun ever. Uh, so that was Test Track 8. Here it is, Katako's in all of its glory. You know, try our new slime ball Sunday. Slime ball specials are back in a big way. Oh. Okay. So. Look at this underneath. Uh, what I'm assuming is like a grill of some kind. There is a chest with hint number one. Wow, you guys actually managed to find this. I'm surprised. Anyways, the key isn't here. I wasn't going to make it that easy for all of you. If you haven't caught on by now, I want to send you all on a wild goose chase across town. You deserve it for all the times you've ignored me. Remember the time I invited all of you over to my place for my birthday? Of course you don't, because none of you showed up. If you want to know where your next hint is, head to the train station and look around. While there, just think about me leaving with a smile on my face. Okay. So... Yeah, the music's gonna stop because Minecraft uh, loves to uh, pause the timer to loop the music while you're reading a book. Uh, so the longer that you spend reading a book, the longer it will take for the music to loop. It's just kind of a dumb Minecraft thing. Uh, we have the Katachio Jail. You might be wondering, why does Katachio have a jail? Uh, moving on. Here's the railway, uh, the train station. Uh, so let's just look around. Where are we gonna? Where are we gonna find? Oh, what's over here? Oh, you can go back behind the building. Whoa! Hint number two. I wish I was here in person to give you a big and rewarding slow clap for finding this. You better be finding these in order, by the way. I swear, if you guys ruin all the hard work I put into this by finding the last book first, I'll hate you even more than I already do. If you're curious about where the next hint is, head to the office across from the Test Track 8 door. Take a good long look at the door, by the way, and just know that you can't enter there because of me. Let this be a lesson for the next time you think about taking someone else's leftover spaghetti and meatballs. This guy is so mean. But it's okay. So, uh, right, the office across from the Test Track 8 door, which is over by Katako's. So we get to go by Katako's again, and I'm always a fan of doing that. Oh, there's the music. Cool. So, here we go. Here's the Test Track 8 door. Here is the office across from it. And if you look behind the bookshelf, hidden in this corner, is hint number three. On my very first day of working here, I thought to myself, wow, I'm going to be a part of something great. Flash forward five years later, and I couldn't be happier to leave. Maybe I'll go apply at Ombra just to spite all of you. 
I'll admit, it's getting a bit hard to keep track of where I hid everything, but I think the next hint should be somewhere in the forest across from the train station. Yes, I'm making you run all the way back there on purpose, jerks. So yeah, we, we basically gotta go right back to where we were. Like I said, best part of the map, everyone loves Katachu Town. <laughs> The main reason why this does exist is to kind of just give the player uh, a place to explore, a little break from the puzzles, you know, free roam, look at all the details in the town. Uh, so the forest across from the train station, if you look into this little pond, you will get hint number four. I hope this one got your shoes wet. Uh, yeah, the sad part about making you chase down all of these hints is that I won't be there in person to witness all of you getting frustrated over this. Your next hint will be located somewhere in the town's central park. Before you ask, no, it's not by the fountain. Do you think I'm that predictable? I'm glad I'm not there to hear you answer that. That is actually a reference because when I first was designing this area, uh, that book was actually in the fountain. And I was like, everyone's going to look at the fountain. That's too predictable. Also, if you come over here, you will find Samantha in the applesauce voice. That's very important. Take note of that. Um, cool. So moving on, <laughs> we need to go to the Central Park. And if you have trouble locating the Central Park, believe it or not, it's in the central area of the town. Here it is. Okay. <laughs> so over in the, uh, I mean, I guess if you like consider that up, this would be like the bottom right corner of the park. Hint number five. Behind the library. That is all. It sure is. Well, you learn something new every day. You sure do, Phoenix. You really do. Especially here at Katacho, where learning is fun. Um, so it's behind the library. I know that like a lot of people like to go into the library, which is interesting. Uh, we we decided to decorate it a bit. You got like all the different uh genres. You know, science real. Whoa. Um, yeah, like the Katacho archives upstairs. Uh, and then new arrivals. And up here, you'll actually see, uh, Bookworm Billy's Corner. He wants you to keep out. And, uh, that's about... That's about it. Okay. So let's go back down and we'll check, uh, what's outside of the library. So, this one is actually a little bit tricky to find. Uh, it's right here underneath the cauldron, but it's such a small area for you to look around. I was like, I, I kind of needed it to be a little bit tricky compared to the others. Uh, congratulations, you found another hint. Honestly, I think I'm putting way too much effort into this than I should. Uh, should be. So, you know what? I'll just tell you where the key is. It's in the last place you'd ever think to check. That's right. It was in the chest where you got my first message in the town hall. What? You didn't see it? Exactly what I expected after getting to know all of you for the past five years. You're all blind, and you haven't even been infected with a blindness plate, which makes it even sadder. Enjoy your key. By the time you're reading this, I'm enjoying the beaches of the Caribbean where you're still stuck while you're still stuck in this dark, moldy cave. Sorry, not sorry. Okay. By the way, for y'all who think you can be sneaky and just take a shortcut and go to the last book first, the chests are spawned and only when you get the respective hint. Yeah, so for anyone watching this at home, don't worry. Uh, you can only find the right books in the right order. However, the uh, the lever is actually in uh, this chest where you get the first book. And that's actually been there the whole time. If you did not see this when you grabbed the first book, you might be a little blind, so keep an eye out for that on uh, your next playthrough. But that allows us to get into here. Also, Gulpinator redeemed a hydrate check, so we're gonna, you know, get a little hydrated for those at home. Uh, take it, take a drink of water. Water's good. I got water with a little bit of caffeine. Uh, it's it's what I refer to as my uh, funny juice. So we're just gonna take a, a little sip of that. Uh, it makes me funny sometimes. Sometimes it just makes me sad. Uh, 
Oh, this is weird. Why is there a jukebox here? I wonder what that's for. Anywho, when you press this, I uh, thank you for registering to be a part of the future. Your fingerprint has been documented in our database and you have been granted access to Test Track 8 staff hallways. Please locate the door control office at the door to Test Track 8 for further instructions. Okay. And so that allows us to finally leave Katacho Town. There's still like a lot of like little details hidden around the place. Um, for anyone who wants to, you know, take the time to explore, now would be the the, the perfect chance before you move on. Because once you leave, you won't be coming back. So there we go. Access granted. That opens the door, and we can now leave Katacho Land. Katacho Land, Katacho Town. I don't know why I called it Katacho Land. Town. It is clearly a town. Anywho, uh, reminder. Add reminders to this board. They they did a horrible job at that. Finally, leave Katacho Town. Okay. And that, if you, if you guys can believe it, Nico with the subscription. Zooey Mama. Zooey Mama. What a what a great time for that. Thirty one months is terrifying, Nico. Uh, but you join just in time for the beginning of Act Two. The calm before so for anyone watching on youtube this will be the end of you know the first part where uh we tackled everything in act one so act two is where things get tricky so if anyone's watching this and you needed my help for act one don't worry act two should help you out in a pinch that's what they say right um say say goodbye uh twitch chat to everyone at youtube who is watching part one and uh Part two will be all of act two, the calm before. Okay, so, uh, see you guys then. Whoa.